has been a country that has seen a lot of tourists from that country come to Thailand for their vacations. But now we are seeing more interest in terms of economic cooperation as the country has set up an embassy here in Thailand. Recently, the director of the Economic and Research Institute, a very prestigious think tank here, uh, run by the director here, Kun Francis Ruins, went and spoke to the analysts or the editors here in the nation group about what she thinks is the future for the ASEAN region. But of course, we had to ask her about what she thought about the latest stimulus from the European Union as they have decided to launch a massive 1.1 trillion euro uh, bond buying scheme. Here's what she had to say. I think that um, Europe has come through an extraordinary period over the past 20 years. It has done two things at the same time, which I think were very challenging. And it's a market, I think, for, for, for um, uh, ASEAN to realize that this is, this is how important this is. So Europe has both extended the number of countries, going from you know, 9 to 12 to 15 to, to over 24, now up to 27, 28. It has increased that number of countries, but it has also tried to intensify the integration among countries with more labor mobility and uh, with a shared uh, currency in the case of the euro area. I think that was very ambitious and probably with hindsight doing both so quickly uh, might have been better done a little bit more slowly. Uh, and I think some of the difficulties we've experienced with the euro related to an absence of defining the governance as carefully as it needed to be to operate the currency. Mm -hmm. So today's quantitative easing will be, I think, another test of whether or not the governance has been established, which will allow this process to succeed in giving confidence back to the market. I think um, what will be very important is, is what happens immediately. Does the market have confidence that it's going to work in the way in which it's intended? I think there's an awareness that it, 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 I mean, if the euro is to be a successful currency, it needs to work. I think people will be looking to see is there a commitment to solidarity across the euro area or is it going to be each country on its own? ก็ถือว่าเป็นการทดลองนะคะสำหรับ ECB และก็ไอร์แลนด์เหมือนกันว่ายูโรจะเป็นอย่างไรหลังจากที่มีการกระตุ้นเศรษฐกิจจากธนาคารกลางของ EU ค่ะ But next of course Francis did talk about the ASEAN market She said that there is a growing amount of SMEs the small medium sized enterprises here in the country especially here in Thailand But she says that much really needs and depends on the standards that are set between each product and that will really determine how successful they will be in the global market. We see a lot of growth in the next few decades coming from small and medium enterprises and for small and medium enterprises to sell into global marketplaces very often means getting into global value chains. So that takes quite a bit of time to build up. It requires that people have funding in order to allow them to make those steps, to get those steps. Europe has had difficulty in this area in the recent past after the financial crisis. Um, ASEAN may, may have found that somewhat, somewhat easier. Um, but it is very important to get into those global value chains if you're going to be able to succeed in penetrating markets globally. คุณฟรานซิสก็บอกว่าสิ่งที่สําคัญสําหรับบริษัท SME นะคะในประเทศไทยก็คือว่าการตั้งมาตรฐานที่ถือว่าเป็นสากลที่สามารถที่จะแข่งขันได้ในตลาดต่างประเทศถ้าเกิดไม่ได้ก็อาจจะมีการท้าทายที่เกิดขึ้นนะคะ And next of course uh, Francis did talk about how to draw in information or more investment into Thailand. She says that Ireland, like any other country such as Thailand, has definitely been focused on its tax incentives, but other factors, she says, does come into play as well. In the case, for example, of Ireland, we have used tax-based incentives for over 40 years as part of what we, of what we do. Other countries in Europe now also use them. Some countries use them less or more. But one thing that's very clear is that tax incentives on their own are not enough. And countries that try to attract foreign direct investment just with taxation don't succeed. So the other factors that are important are the cost of doing business in the country. Is it easy to set up a business? How quickly can you have that business in operation? 
is, is it possible to um, develop that business without going back for more permissions from government or agencies in relation to that. Um, the other issue for foreign direct investment from European countries is around the education and the skills availability for the type of foreign investment projects that are there. So I think the tax will always be there, but I think it, 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 it should be and needs to be combined with other factors if it's to be effective. We have what we call a one-stop shop for a lot of decision making. So if you come and set up a business in Ireland, you don't have to spend days and days and days in bureaucracy. We do that very quickly and we do very well on, on the cost of, of, of doing business. คุณฟรานซิสเขาบอกว่าตอนท้ายนะคะว่าถ้าเกิดจะดึงดูดการลงทุนจากต่างประเทศก็ไม่ไม่ใช่หมายความว่ามันอยู่กับภาษีอย่างเดียวคือการลดภาษีก็เป็นอีกอย่างหนึ่งแต่ว่าถ้าเกิดเราไม่มีแรงงานที่ดีพอสําหรับการรับสินค้าหรือการผลิตภัณฑ์ครั้งนี้ก็อาจจะเป็นการท้าทายเหมือนกันแล้วก็ถ้าเกิดว่ามี one stop คือที่ประเทศไอร์แลนด์นะคะมี one stop คือจุดกลางอย่างเดียวที่บริษัทต่างประเทศมาได้แล้วก็ทุกอย่างก็จะทำได้หมดโดยที่ไม่มีการ process ที่แบบยุ่งยากเกินไปในการเปิดบริษัทนั้นในประเทศไอร์แลนด์นั่นเองค่ะ so with that we'll have to see if Tan will be able to progress with that as we've seen of course the military government still in power here in the country but before we leave I just want to tell you again about the wonderful uh, Contest we have here on now 26. As you can see here, we have Downton Abbey items. We have tea. นะคะนี่มีชานะคะมีชาคริสต์มาสมีชาพุดดิ้งแล้วก็มีสร้อยเหมือนกันจาก Downton Abbey นะคะ All you have to do is basically take a selfie with one of the main characters from your tablet, from a TV screen, or whatever, and hashtag it. Do now. 26. That's hashtag D O O Now 26, and post it on the Now 26 Facebook, Instagram, and you have a chance of winning this limited edition of items there. So take a what? Yeah, to win. Ah, cha, or what? Soy, na, lak, lak, ni, ka, ko, ku, ka, thai, lu, ko, to, eng, thai, selfie, kap, jo, lai, ka, dai, na, ka, tablet, or what? Jo, TV, ti, mi, rai, ka, nan, la, ko, set, lao, ko, Instagram. เรา now 26หรือ Facebook นะคะแล้วก็ hashtag do now 26นั่นคือ D O O now 26นั่นเองค่ะ so that's all we have for now at noon if you have any questions you can always find me on Twitter at t a w a r a t underscore now 26 as for now สวัสดีค่ะ